Hey there guys, welcome back to more Elden Ring. On the last one, I defeated the boss here at the Citadel. And over at the Elden Throne, I was visited by Melina at the Grace. And she gave me a medallion to be able to use the lift all the way up here. The Grand Lift of Rold. And in order to get there, I had to do a lot of backtracking. So essentially you go back here to the... where is it? You go here to the Avenue Balcony and you just go down this road. You open the door and go up the stairs and you go up a lift and you go over here and pretty much it's just like a straight road towards here to the other lift also there's like enemies in a way so they're kind of annoying flame drink talisman Gotcha. Lindell Knight Gauntlets. Oh my gosh. How did you do that? Somber smithing stone six. All right, cool. Got a free stone out of that. So right now my objective is to go up this lift and use it to go up the mountains and I guess grab an item that'll help me go through some wall of thorns. Okay, right now I'm in some uncharted territories. A new place. Ooh, creepy. Forbidden lands. Ooh, fancy. Ah, uh, not those guys. They're small, but they hit pretty hard. Okay, I'm gonna go. I have no idea if this is the right way or not. I'm just guessing. Just gotta keep going. No distractions. Oh, golden seed. What did that give me? It was blue, not white. Usually the white ones give you some sort of ash of war. Black Blade Kindred. Go no name.
that was instant. Oh my god. A little bit more of a range style. Never mind. No words. No words. I got him. We can attack. God damn. There we go. Got him. Okay, so one thing I have to teach myself is to not be so greedy. Because I know that could kill a lot of people, and myself, where you become greedy and you're trying to get in as many hits as possible. So just be patient and just wait for them to finish their attacks. And then you can hit as much as you can before they'll start attacking again. But a lot of times with some enemies that just keep constantly hitting you, it's good to be greedy at some points, but not all the time. When I say greedy, I mean like aggressive. Be more of a gr aggressive playstyle with some bosses that don't allow for you to be patient. Hey, it's you. What's up? the giant's flame and the way forth is forbidden <sighs> hear me the burning of the air tree is the first cardinal sin doing so will unbind destined death and slay the world itself <sighs> Who would dare put you up to such a task? Most certainly not the fingers. It was a good little girl named Melina. I mean, I hope she's good, because I have no idea who are the good or bad guys in this game. Everybody's intentions are pretty unclear. I guess my only objective here is to 
make world order or to make sure it's supposed to be normal again because it's not normal right now. Cool, I made it. Now let's see what this mountaintop looks like. Are those ice trees? Mountain tops of the giants. Alright, got that grace. Zamor Ruins. I wonder what kind of enemies resides on the mountaintops other than the supposed giants. That takes a name. Jesus! Man, you're so annoying. Okay, so this is pointing me towards a catacombs. I'm pretty sure. So let's go that way. I don't think I've done a single catacomb during any of these videos. Because I've done a bunch of them, but I've only done them my own time. Smoldering butterfly. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and see what happens. Yeah, you know, I feel like there's a trap here somewhere. But this is my only path, so there's like no other choice but to go through here. What's this? Lots of ashes. Oh my god, I see that. I saw the giant last second.
got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> uh, right in the clitoris. I got some soft cotton. That helps you with fall damage, but not complete fall damage. Okay, nothing down there. So far, this whole mountaintop has been pretty bare, but I just got here, so maybe the deeper I go, the more enemies I'll find. I gotta say though, I like the place. If you don't know about me, one thing you should know about me is I love snow in video games. I like the way they do it. Because I rarely see snow in real life. Like only like twice in my entire life I think, I've gone up to the snowy mountains. So I just like seeing it in video games. Ouchie! in the clitoris. Clitoris time two. And it's that easy. Okay, it looks like a dead end over there, so let's go towards this way. All this snow stuff reminds me of um, Resident Evil Village, because that was a bit of snowy mountains. I got some maiden boots, robe, hood, and gloves. Oh, speaking of Resident Evil, I just saw online that on, on Twitter, I saw on Twitter that Capcom tweeted out that Resident Evil, which one was it? Uh, the Resident Evil remake for 2 and 3 and Resident Evil 7, they're going to have upgrades for the new Xbox and PS5. And I'm pretty sure they're going to update PC as well with those other consoles. And I just think it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be picking up Resident Evil 7 on PS5. It is my, it's probably going to be my favorite game in the series because I like the, it was like the first Resident Evil that I finished completely. The other ones I played before was like Resident Evil 5 and 6 and I never finished them. But Resident Evil 7 was the first one in the series that I've completely finished from start to end and it's the first one in the series that I've done a complete playthrough of all the difficulties. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Give me a sec. Just trying to get away first. Is that it? Okay. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is the first one in the series that I've completed from beginning to end, and is also the first game in the series that I've done a full playthrough on all the difficulties. I really like the game. I like how I switched to like first person. What I would want though is for the ability to switch to first to third person, like whenever you want, for the fans that prefers in third person. So I can play in first person, but a diehard Resident Evil fan can play in third person as they wish. 
I don't know. It'd be like a like a very cool thing to do, because I don't see why it would, ha it would have to be like restrictively. I don't see why it would have to restrict you just first person. Because I guess some people, a lot of people, don't like that actually, because it changes the shift in narrative what Resident Evil used to be like. Because you know horror can be in third and first person. It can be in perspective. I'm just hoping with the next game, uh, they'll do that. If not, then I guess people can just mod a third person. Right, there's also supposed to be a DLC for Resident Evil Village as well, so I wonder what that's going to be like. The hell's down there? Something got hurt. Is it me or the shadows acting a little weird and buggy? Are they fighting each other? Oh no, it looks like they're just fighting like the little imp guy. Death right bird. What? Oh god. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. I was ready. I was not prepared for this. Didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> 